on, guys. It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back to encourage you to be yourself. You are the best version of yourself. Stop trying to be like everybody else and be who you are. Walk and be comfortable in your own skin. You're a leader. Remember that. I'm your number one fan. Keep going. With the new season of Chapter 2 comes a brand new battle pass and a new desire to grind and earn all the new items. Okay, so the battle pass for this section, once again, features tons of new skins, emotes, items, and so much more. As it always, it includes some special additions that are mainly for this season only. So in this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the Season 2 Chapter 2 battle pass and breaking down every tier and reward it includes, alright? In addition, we're going to be going over some of the fastest, best ways to level up to their 100 to get all of those rewards. Also, if you want to learn how to play exactly like the pro players, check out ProGuys.com where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. If you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, head on over to ProGuys website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, you guys got to scream this out with me. You ready? It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first, let's start by talking about this secret skin that's announced in the beginning of the animation. The exclusive Deadpool skin will be available as an unlockable sometime during the season, most likely through challenges or like some sort of special event. This season has a Deadpool theme with spies, henchmen, villains, and bosses, and that's the general theme you're going to find in the Battle Pass as well. So starting with the first tier, we have the two Battle Pass skins that are initially given to everybody who buys the Battle Pass. The first skin is Maya, which is a female skin with a very cool aspect that no other skin in the game has. Epic is going to be releasing a brand new Maya customization option that's going to allow you to customize pretty much every aspect of the skin, right? But once you lock it in, it's going to be locked just like that forever. And no two Mayas are going to look the same as there's like over 3.8 million possible combinations, which is crazy. Maya is like the only skin that really doesn't require you to choose between the two ghost and, you know, shadow options that the other skins in the season require. Speaking of the ghost and shadow options, every skin in this season have a ghost or a shadow option. You unlock these by completing weekly challenges and really, you know, you get to choose which skin style you want to go with. So once you choose, you're stuck with it for the rest of the season. The only other exception is Agent Peely, which really allows you just to unlock both different unlockable styles. Every skin in this season also has a bonus power as well. But Peely does it, so this could be seen as his bonus power. The second tier 1 skin that is given in the beginning of the season is the Agent Peely skin, which is essentially a brand new banana skin that's designed to look like a secret spy banana agent. He's explained by Epic as a sleek spy in a tux with a license to peel. All right, guys, so moving on to the next skin, you're going to receive this one on tier 25, aka the premium bundle if you decide to purchase it. This skin is called Brutus, and, you know, it's really like the first skin that you can choose the ghost or verse shadow style for. To get the unlockable choice, you'll have to complete all 18 of the Brutus briefing challenges. Once they are complete, you're going to be given the option to choose between them. The next option is TNTina, which is unlocked at tier 40. This is the first skin in the entire game that has the ability to transform into their own custom emote. The emote that's specific to her character transforms her into a Toon character. You can also choose between Ghost and Shadow for this skin. The next skin is a fan-created skin that is known as Meowsles. Alright, so this skin is unlocked at tier 60 and features a special emote that makes the whole kitty flex its massive biceps. So this skin once again features the shadow and ghost variety, so you're gonna have to choose between the two once you've unlocked and completed all the changes for it. The second to last skin on the battle pass is the Sky skin. So this skin is unlocked at tier 80 and like the others features a really really cool special ability. Sky has a traveling companion named Ollie that can transform into a hat. She also comes with a glider and a traversal emote which also allow you to walk or run around the map while emoting. Just like the others, this emote comes with the shadow and ghost options. Alright guys, so finally we have the tier 100 skin. Uh oh. The skin you're going to be grinding for, the Midas skin. Yeah, the Midas looks like he's a billionaire mastermind supervillain. 
The Midas skin has perhaps the coolest special ability known as the Midas Touch. The Midas Touch turns every single weapon or vehicle that he touches gold for the rest of the match. The Midas skin, just like every other variation, has a shadow and ghost selectable option. So this season's The Battle Pass and XP system have both been combined just like the previous season. So your level is essentially the Battle Pass tier that you are. Once you've reached level 100, you'll have earned all the Battle Pass items and you're gonna have the chance to continue to gain levels infinitely. Which could be really, really cool, you know, and a challenge for some just really to get to the highest level possible before the season ends. So let's get into how you can level up super fast and in the most time effective way possible. Who wants to know? The best way as of right now to make sure that you're gaining the maximum amount of XP you can daily is by completing the metal punch card every single day. All right, so the medals in the game are the following. First, you have to have the first match medal, which will award you 2000 XP just for the first match of the day that you play. This is pretty much like a freebie, and we just suggest all of you guys take advantage of it. You know, even if you're not planning on playing Fortnite that day, just hop on and just like run a quick game so that you can just earn your XP for free. The second medal is a battle medal, which is given, you know, when you get the first elimination of the day. You can upgrade this medal and you can earn even more XP as you continue to eliminate more players. All right, guys, so the third medal is the scavenger medal, which is given out, you know, for searching three chests or supply drops. You can upgrade this medal and really earn more XP by opening more than the three. The fourth and final medal is the survival medal, which you can get when you're top 50 in a match. You can also upgrade this medal by placing even higher. So guys, make sure you try your best to complete the metal punch cards and upgrade them to the max every single day if you want to earn the most XP possible. All right, so now that we've gone over the metal punch cards, let's go over some of the other useful ways to get XP fast. So, you know, in season two and chapter two, you know, we've actually gotten a really, really cool redesign to the challenges. Instead of just like a long list of challenges and missions for you to complete, there's now a challenge table that has a picture of the map in it with marks of it, you know, where the challenges require you to be in order to complete them. This makes it much easier to find challenges and just like hunt them down and you don't need to read and debunk every single one. You can also access all of these challenges in your minimum by clicking Y or triangle on controller or selecting it on a PC. So be sure to complete all these map-based challenges as they give loads of XP. They're gonna be updated presumably every two weeks and they're gonna feature lots of new challenges. So be sure to check back and hunt down all the new challenges as soon as they come out. These challenges, guys, are gonna give a huge amount of 40,000 XP each. So you gotta be sure to do all of them as you're gonna get a ton of XP that no other challenge is gonna give you. The first week has a whopping 10 challenges, which essentially, you know, 400,000 XP if you complete all of them. The next best way to level up fast through all these challenges is by completing daily challenges that are updated daily. These challenges offer even more XP than daily metal punch cards, but they oftentimes require more skill and effort to complete. So by this point in the video, all right, it's pretty evident that, you know, one of the best ways to gain XP fast is by completing challenges, right? Challenges can be sometimes difficult and a pain to complete, especially if these challenges require lots of time and, you know, weird requirements like traveling to multiple locations or even finding multiple hidden items. So daily challenges, you know, have a tendency, guys, to be very spontaneous and random, right? So we recommend watching videos and guides on, you know, how to complete them as fast as possible. This is going to help you guys complete your daily challenges in the fastest time possible. Next, we're going to be going over getting XP through actually playing. All right, so XP points can be earned by playing normal Battle Royale matches. There is many ways to earn XP when in a game. First, there's challenges, which, you know, we've already discussed. And then there's in-game actions that you're going to earn your XP. These actions are getting things such as kills, guys, survival time, opening chests, you know, loot crates, supply drops, llamas, or even reviving teammates here. These are just a few examples of the many different in-game opportunities that players have to collect XP. Now, you know, although these all give XP, the best ways to earn XP is actually survival time, not elimination or any other listed above. Although eliminations, all right, and you know, other methods will earn you XP, surviving and making it to the end game, that's what's gonna earn you the most amount of XP. It also happens to take up the most time, right? So its effectiveness in terms of, you know, efficiency is in question. But if a player can combine survival time, you know, with getting a decent amount of eliminations, plus, you know, things such as like opening chests and ammo crates instead of just breaking them, that's gonna earn you a significant amount of XP for your time. 
So your actions and matches play a significant role in how much XP you earn. And the more proactive you are about what you're doing, the more opportunity you have to truly be efficient with leveling up. The new season has brought with it incredible new changes to the battle pass, and it's made leveling up and earning skins just like way more exciting. Players all over the world are gonna be more determined and more motivated to leveling up quickly so they could save money and earn their skins instead. And with the new battle pass, you know, full of just unlockable styles and choices, there's sure to be a lot of you out there who are trying to grind your tears. So we really hope this video helped you guys out today. If you enjoyed this, consider sending, you know, this to some of your friends because man we got so much going on on this channel and with the new battle pass you know full of unlockable styles and choices you know there's just sure to be a lot of you out there who are trying to grind your tears so we really hope this video helped you guys out if you enjoyed this consider sending this to your friends and you know using party assist as you're going to be able to earn xp even faster especially when playing with other players who have the battle pass friendly xp boost to summarize make sure you spend a lot of time in lobbies guys performing to the best of your ability and knocking out those punch cards be sure to focus on all the challenges and complete them before their times expire, okay? And if you follow this guide, you're gonna be golden. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you thought about it and what you like to see next on this channel. You know, we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. Once again, we'll see you next time.